You're watching Don't Bore Us. We're here with Maddie Healy from the 1975. Hello. Maddie, how Hello. are you today? Good, thank you. First song, spoken word track with Greta Thunberg. Mm -hmm. Just wanted to know how the current climate crisis has impacted your creative process going into this album. It hasn't impacted my creative process that much. I mean, it's like, I suppose it's just another night. It's another 1975 album, so it's like an album about me. And um, my records are kind of like what I'm scared of, what I love. Fears, hopes, desires, sex, whatever. So I think that the climate, I kind of probably share a lot of the anxiety with a lot of people about the environment, you know what I mean? So it's just one of the things that's kind of, I see as a threat, you know? So it's something that's kind of filled up the, the fear void of notes on a conditional form, but um, I, I don't know if my creative process has been affected that much apart from maybe being a bit more tenacious because I feel like Time is a commodity that we're running out of, you know. So with the release of this new album, you've really mm -hmm. had sustainability in mind. Mm -hmm. Was tackling it in a sustainable way <coughs> exciting, or was it just something that was a necessity? It was a necessity. I mean, I suppose any challenge, any logistical rearrangement, can, if you really invest in it, can be interesting and fun. Maybe it felt like a long time coming. Maybe it felt like, oh, why are we doing this now? We should have been doing this ages ago, but I think that's the general feeling of everybody. Yeah, I don't know. Again, it just felt like something that we needed to do. I'm also not gonna like, I'm not stupid, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not gonna leave myself open for loads of criticism if I'm gonna start talking about these kind of things, you know? You have gotta make sure your kind of house is in order before you start, you know, throwing stones. How important is it for your music to be didactic? I want it to be representative of who I am, and. I'm not just a, I'm not a politician, I'm not a diplomat, do you know what I mean? So, I mean, I grew up in like punk and hardcore, yeah. like like kind of late 90s, early 2000s and stuff. So in hardcore, like, it was kind of like all about purpose and meaning and trying to change the world or trying to change your world, your small world and trying to make something bigger of it. So I've always been very drawn to music with a purpose or I've always seen it as, as necessary. I never wanted to do anything void of any meaning because it wouldn't give me any purpose, you know? So I read that you are interested in like scoring films or mm. soundtracking. Mm -hmm. I was wondering if there was any film in history or like an adaption of any text that you could do the score for, what would it be and why? I'd love to do like a classic. I'd mm. Have you ever seen like, um, I'd love to do something that's like, uh, 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 what's it called? There's mm. this Jean Genet movie, like this early 50s kind of art movie yeah. that I watched when I was like at some party or something in my early 20s and I remember watching it. And I love the idea of doing something like, I mean, I don't know, I imagine, like, unless David Fincher or, like, Aaron Sorkin or, like, Quentin Tarantino, who doesn't, re who kind of just curates soundtracks mm. as opposed to getting people to do it for him, unless they come up and they're like, I want you to do a movie, I imagine the first thing our soundtrack is probably, like, one of my, like, I mean, I've, everyone's written movies, you know, everyone's yeah. tried to write movies, like, I've got a co I have a couple of things that seriously could be potentially movies once I've finished making this record, so maybe I'll, just, I'll obviously do the soundtracks to them. Yeah. I don't know, I'd love to like redo Wizard of Oz. Okay. Or like, actually no, because then you have to redo all the songs, but I meant like something like a classic movie, like 12 Angry Men or something like that, or, you know. But there's been so many like modern classics, hasn't there, of late, like yeah. Lost in Translation or Drive or There Will Be Blood. I mean, they're all as good because of Exactly, them. Like if exactly. Lost in Translation didn't have the music that it does, you'd be like, Scarlett Johansson looking hot. Yeah, it wouldn't be quite the movie, would it? Yeah. I don't think There Will Be Blood would be quite the movie. I don't think the Drive would be the movie no. without without that. So, um, but that's what music does, you know, it kind of gives things a context. So. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, Thanks. I'd love to do that then. Anyone who's watching. <laughs> Yeah, sign, get, get this man a, a score. It's not that I've not been offered, it's just that the time of me making record, it's just not been the right synthesis, but I'm sure it will be soon. Yeah, you'll be soon. Yeah. Hey, I'm Matty from 1975, and you're watching Don't Bore Us. <laughs>